Good afternoon from Drayton Manor, where I'm here to check out their fireworks extravaganza event. I say extravaganza lightly because unfortunately this year it's going to be a shortened duration. It's only going to be 10 minutes, which is quite short. However, I'm really excited to check it out a little bit later in the vlog at 6 p.m. Unfortunately, it's the 30th of October and I'm sure you all know what that means. It's Apocalypse's final day here at Drayton Manor. It's such a sad day for enthusiasts across the UK. And of course, I'll be heading over there after I've had a ride on Maelstrom uh, to go and get some final shots of the area and have my final few rides. Before that though, as I said, I'm gonna head over to Maelstrom, a classic Intamin gyro swing down here at Drayton Manor. It's not the best of weather. It's not gonna spoil my spirits for my last visit down here at Drayton Manor for the 2022 season. Down here in the queue then for Maelstrom and yeah, the rain, the weather's not looking great today. It started absolutely chucking it down. So yeah, um, that's not gonna stop me from getting on one of my favorite flat rides in the UK, Maelstrom, especially when it's only on about a 10 minute queue. Yeah, it's absolutely starting to chuck it down down here in Adventure Cove. It sort of goes with the theme though, with the nautical theme of Adventure Cove. It's starting to get really windy though, let's head on. Some footage there of Maelstrom, an awesome flat ride down here at Drayton Manor. And straight after it, I went over to the pizza and pasta buffet because the heavens had opened up and it absolutely chucked it down. Next up, though, I'm gonna head over to Apocalypse. I was about to say for one of my final rides of the 2022 season. But yeah, one of my final rides forever. Let's head over. I've never had to queue on the staircase for Apocalypse. However, it's its last day at the park and it's so sad to see. Unfortunately, Stand Up isn't open and it hasn't been for a few seasons now. However, I'll take my last ride on Sit Down and yeah, probably do one a little bit later when it gets a bit darker. But yeah, never had to queue up here for Apocalypse. But nonetheless, it's so sad to see this ride leave the park and I really think it's the wrong decision. However, I'm excited to see what the future holds. It's crazy to think that most of this has remained the same for 22 years now and it's definitely getting old. I mean, you can see down there, the stand-up towers hasn't been in operation for absolutely ages. Two seasons it must have been since I last went on stand-up. It's just got the cover on down there. It's only running one tower. I really wish Drayton did get this, uh, did get stand-up running for the last day. However, it just doesn't make financial sense for them to repair it and open it for one day. But yeah, still grateful to be getting on sit-down before it closes later today. Opening the year 2000, Apocalypse is a brilliant intermin drop tower down here at Drayton Manor and it will really be missed by me. I absolutely love it, but seeing it in that condition really does upset me. With one tower running, sit down only. Unfortunately, no stand up or stand up with floor. Hasn't been running for a few good seasons now. It's so sad to see it in that state. And I really wish Drayton Manor like repainted it, refreshed it and put it into a new area because it's going to be so sad 
seeing it go. And I'll, have, I'll be having my last rides a little bit later on. Fingers crossed for a bit of a darker ride after the fireworks. But with all that said, next up I'm gonna head on my second favorite ride down here at Drayton Manor is of course Shockwave, a brilliant intimate stand-up coaster down here that opened in the year 1994 alongside Nemesis and also the big one. The fireworks commence at 6 p.m. so it's about an hour and a half until they do go on. Some rides close at half four to give a little bit of time to get, re get ready for the fireworks and because they're in the proximity of the fireworks. However, the rides will reopen after fireworks uh, right until 7 p.m. With all that said, let's head over to Shockwave. It's a, beautiful, it's a beautiful sunny day down here at Drayton Manor. Over there you can see the Zamperla Air Race. That's a brilliant ride and you get quite a lot of hang time on that as well. You can also see Shockwave's track. Unfortunately today, Stormforce 10 hasn't been open due to technical delays. However, it was advertised on the website and also before you enter the park. But yeah, Adventure Cove is a really nice themed area. You can also see tidal towers there in the background. Of course, the playground over there for the children as well. In terms of open hours, I have said it earlier in the vlog, it's 10.30 all the way through until 7 p.m. So I'm really hoping that the sun starts to set and we, get, and we can get some night rides. Of course, last night, the clocks also turned back as well. So we should be able to get some night rides over on Apocalypse and also Shockwave. And also the Vikings area is open right through until 7 p.m. Next up, it's time for a ride over on Shockwave with its nicely, newly repainted station. That happened back in 2021 when this area was rebranded to Adventure Cove. The queue though has built up quite a lot. You can see inside those windows there, people are queuing. So I think we're gonna be waiting about an hour for this. However, it's a great ride and I definitely recommend heading on it if you are coming to Drayton Manor. just had a brilliant ride over on Shockwave, the classic Intamin coaster down here at Drayton that opened in 1994. Before the fireworks begin, I'm going to head over to Apocalypse to get a ride on that and I believe Drayton Manor are also getting a group photo before it closes. Of course, it does close and then it will reopen right until 7pm. I want to go and get a sunset ride over on Apocalypse, then I'll probably come back in Adventure Cove and probably do Air Race. I put my phone in the wrong pocket. Honestly, that's the saddest thing I've seen all theme park season. Getting a last photo in with Apocalypse that will be used on Drayton Manor's site. It's, such a, it's so sad seeing all the enthusiasts there. It's such a good ride for the UK. It's my favourite flat ride in the UK, in fact. And it's so sad to see it leave the park. However, I'm excited to see what Drayton Manor do with that space. They've got a big space now with Pandemonium and also Apocalypse. And yeah, really excited to see what, hopefully, what new coaster they put in place. Anyway, I've decided against doing Air Race because it has got an absolute huge queue and the access pass uh, queue for it is huge. So I've decided I'll probably go and do Maelstrom again uh, and yeah, and see where the day takes me and then I'll probably get a good place uh, in preparation for the fireworks. I can already tell that Adventure Cove is going to look absolutely awesome in the dark this evening after the fireworks. Even though it's not that much theme lighting around this area, it's still going to look great. Of course, you can see Maelstrom in the distance there, Tidal Towers, Stormforce 10 and Shockwave, they're all going to look great, all lit up in the dark after the fireworks. Anyway, I'm going to head on Maelstrom and then get ready for the fireworks. Let's go. I'm 
Drayton Manor shut this part of the park down in order to get everyone to the fireworks area, uh, which I'll be heading next. But yeah, after the fireworks, they'll open this up and you'll be, of course, be able to go on Shockwave. Crazy how quickly it gets dark down here at Drayton Manor. I'm just in place now to watch the fireworks extravaganza. Unfortunately, it's only 10 minutes this year. However, I can't wait to see what has to offer. Of course, you've got all the speakers around as well, offering all the audio, and usually they're timed with the music as well, which is quite cool. And yeah, Drayton Manor looks really nice in the dark. You can see over there, the lighthouse, you've got all the lovely sort of fairy lights on it as well. And over there, you've got the shockwave lights on the lift hill as well, which look quite nice. And also accelerator to the left of me there as well. So in the next few minutes, I'll show you a few highlights from this year's Drayton Manor fireworks. Hello. Hello. Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. Are you making popcorn? Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. I was looking in the lab. All living mortals, that whosoever opens this chest of demons will release 13 of the most terrifying ghosts upon the face of the earth. A broomstick you can crawl on We're gonna pay a call on The Adams Family
So I've just had my last ever ride on Apocalypse and sad is an understatement. It's so, so, so sad to see that classic drop tower go. And just then I was speaking to um, an operator on there and he said that the deconstruction um, of Apocalypse will be pretty soon. Um, as I've heard, so Drake Manor is closed this week. So I've heard that's when they're gonna be starting uh, demolishing all the Apocalypse Tower. And I really hope they start selling some of the signage uh, and some of the ride parts, hopefully, because I'm sure a lot of enthusiasts like me would love to get some of those signs and some of the old parts from Apocalypse, but it's so sad to see. I'm excited to see what they do in the, with the area in the future. They've got rid of Pandemonium and also Apocalypse now. Uh, so they've got a nice big area um, in order to create something nice and new for the park. And hopefully including Set Accelerator, The Haunting, and also Share a Showdown into this nice new area. I'd really like to see that here at Drayton. And it's so sad to see Apocalypse go. You can see it in the background behind me. Well, you can't really, it's really dark. Uh, but yeah, it's such a good ride down here at Drayton. So sad to see it go. Having my last ride, having my hands out there, just feeling the breeze going past me as I was dropping down. It's so, so sad to see Apocalypse go. Open back in 2000, 22 years of thrilling guests. All good things must come to an end. However, I'm really excited to see what Drayton Manor do in the future with the Apocalypse area. Rest in peace, Apocalypse. I wrap up an awesome day down here from Drayton Manor in the car park and yeah, really enjoyed the fireworks show that they had to offer. It was 10 minutes long, uh, themed with some nice spooky music and it was really, really good. Really enjoyed that. Uh, good fireworks display. Uh, the, the fireworks at the end were really good when they were sort of lighting up the whole sky and you could see Shockwave in the background. The fireworks display, it, it, hasn't, it wasn't as long as previous years, however it was really good quality uh, for that 10 minute duration that it was. And then I had my last ride over at Apocalypse, I mean that was sad. I've already explained my thoughts, but that was such, so sad. Just getting on, pulling the restraint down for the last time. Of course, I pop, I'm hoping that that is going to be a new coaster in that area themed with Accelerator. I've always said that, and it'd be so cool to see. But yeah, last ride on Apocalypse and fireworks down here from Drayton Manor. It's been an awesome day, but also a really sad day to say goodbye to an iconic ride down here at Drayton Manor. If you did enjoy the video, do consider subscribing as I make theme park content every week for you to enjoy. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.